Shalom, my brothers and sisters. Good morning and good evening to you all around the world. You know, there are many religions out there that don't point to the truth. As a matter of fact, they point to so-called many truths, but not the truth. Jesus himself said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father except through by him. Amen. We're going to read a little bit about when Jesus said this passage right here in John chapter 14. Starting in verse 1. And we're going to go ahead and dive into this and see what our Lord has to say about it. John 14. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas saith unto him, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. No man comes to the Father except through him, right? You know, above it says that in my Father's house are many mansions <clears throat> and many mansions and if it were not so i would have not told you jesus describes heaven as a place of mansions beautiful place right a place of luxury and great wealth he says i go to prepare a place specifically for you the believers the ones that believe in Jesus, the ones who say that he is Lord of their life. Many, and you know, we did not know the way unto heaven, right? But we do know that the only way to heaven and the Father is through Jesus. And that's all you need to know when Jesus says, you have seen me. You have seen the Father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Think about this. Jesus said also that blessed are those who believe and have not yet seen, right? You know, here, Philip has known Jesus for a good three odd years. And yet Philip asks God and says, show us the way. But Jesus said, you've known me for three years. You've known me for a long time already. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Amen. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, be like me, act like me, walk like me. <clears throat> Today, 
in Christianity, many Christians act and walk like heathens. And that's not a good thing because that's not how we as believers are to act. No. I mean, how do you expect to be glorified in Christ when you act like a heathen? No. You've got to let the Holy Spirit speak to you and through you. Because if you don't let the Holy Spirit speak through you and act like Christ, then Christ does not abide in you. When you say, I accept Jesus into my heart, that's a commitment. We say, yes, he is my Lord and my Savior. And if he's not our Lord and Savior, our life and our fruit will show it. Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more. But ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. At that day ye shall know that I am in the Father, and ye in me, and I in you. He that hath my commandments, and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father. That's key. He that does my will, does my word, does my commandments, is he that loves me. Do we love Jesus? He says, you got to do my word, you got to do my will, you got to act like me, you got to talk like me. In today's world, though, many of us act like heathens. We need to repent of these sins, turn away from them. And when we do, he is faithful and just to forgive us. And I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Judas saith unto him, not Iscariot, Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Amen. Key right there. He will bring it to your remembrance. He will teach you what is right and what is wrong, and you will be reminded of what is right and what is wrong. Amen. If we have Christ in us, his moral compass is in us. And because of that moral compass that the Holy Spirit directs us in, that's how you know you're walking the life of a Christian. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. Amen. He said, don't let your heart be troubled. Don't be afraid, fear not, for he is with us. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father. Amen. For my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it come to pass, that when it is come to pass, ye might believe. Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and hath nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Amen. The prince of this world was Satan, and Satan always comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came that we might have life, and have life more abundantly, and more abundantly through him. So let your light shine for Christ. Let us be the living vessels we were called to be. This is a simple teaching by Jesus. 
basic in every principle. If you love me, keep my word. Do what I say. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.